You might know your way around the dollar menu pretty well, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes at McDonald's that you don't know about. We'll reveal some shocking secrets that this fast food giant would rather keep quiet. If you're hungry for more great videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then join our notification squad. Lawsuits You've probably heard the story of Stella Liebeck, who won $3 million in a lawsuit against McDonald's when she spilled a hot cup of coffee on her lap. That may seem unnecessarily litigious, but the truth is that the restaurant had served the coffee hot enough to cause second-degree burns in an instant, and Liebeck ended up needing skin grafts for her third-degree burns. She was only one of 700 people who were seriously burned by McDonald's coffee and had originally asked for only $20,000 to cover her medical bills, which McDonald's refused to pay. Bad Meat there have been a lot of alleged scandals and misleading headlines over the years about the quality of McDonald's meat, but a court recently jailed 10 employees in China for supplying expired meat to this fast food giant. Food safety in China has long been an issue, and it was discovered that Shanghai Hushi Food Corporation Limited was repackaging old meat and simply labeling it with new expiration dates. Although other chains were also affected, McDonald's pledged to stick with their supplier. Wage Theft Regardless of what you believe the minimum wage should be, McDonald's has a reputation for not paying their employees what they're owed. Due to violating labor laws, they have been forced to pay $3.75 million in back wages to over 800 employees. A lawsuit alleged that McDonald's had failed to pay overtime, not maintained proper timekeeping records, or reimbursed employees for certain expenses. Extra Ingredient it can be hard to find good vegetarian options when it comes to fast food, but McDonald's french fries seemed like a safe bet. That is, until McDonald's was forced to settle a $10 million lawsuit for claiming they cooked their fries in vegetable oil when it turns out they were really using beef lard. While they do use vegetable oil now, they also use natural beef flavoring, so who knows if they're actually vegetarian or not. Undercooked Meat McDonald's doesn't have a great history about cooking their food well. In South Korea, their undercooked burgers have caused serious health problems. One five-year-old girl even suffered permanent kidney failure as a result of eating an undercooked hamburger that was in her Happy Meal. The chain announced it would begin twice-yearly food safety training for its employees. It's rather disturbing that this policy wasn't already in place. Antibiotics what do you do when your meat is frequently old or undercooked? No, you don't get quality meat from a better supplier, you just pump it full of antibiotics. Cows bred for McDonald's are given industrial amounts of antibiotics, an amount that can be hazardous to human health because it promotes antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Since over 20,000 Americans lose their lives every year due to superbugs, this is no small danger. Eat Elsewhere McDonald's may not always pay their employees, but at least they look out for their health. They do so by advising their employees not to eat there because their food is so unhealthy. Their own employee website tells them to avoid McDonald's like the plague and labels their own products as an unhealthy choice. Pennywise you might associate Pennywise from It with real-life killer clown John Wayne Gacy, but Stephen King found Ronald McDonald far more influential. King claims to be a magnet for weirdness and ended up sitting next to someone dressed as Ronald McDonald on a flight. The clown allegedly reeked of booze and appeared disheveled, and it was easy to see how he could frighten children. The resemblance between Ronald and Pennywise is so uncanny that a Russian Burger King even lobbied to ban the film It under Russia's advertising laws. Out of Touch Saying that the higher-ups at McDonald's are out of touch is putting it mildly. They offer their poorly paid employees how-tos on tipping au pairs, dog walkers, and personal trainers. At the same time, they urged employees who call into their hotline to consider applying for food stamps. Their website also helpfully suggested that their employees return their Christmas gifts for cash to earn some extra money. Cleanliness Next time you're bummed because the McDonald's ice cream machine is broken, take it as a blessing in disguise. One McDonald's employee lost his job for posting photos of the drip tray from his restaurant's ice cream machine. Hopefully you weren't eating a Big Mac while viewing these pictures, or the ones the same employee took of some filthy kitchen floors. Ugh. Were any of these behind-the-scenes secrets enough to make you stop at Burger King instead of McDonald's? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to The Riches for more awesome content. Bye for now.